why they use plastic bags. If, if you're going to be a Whole Foods place, I don't know. So first thing first, I got these Annie Ann's jackfruit nuggets. I've been eyeing these on Sprouts for the longest. I finally went and picked it. Um, I actually went through Instacart. I didn't go to the grocery store itself. I haven't really been interested in going to like grocery stores. I feel like when I order on Instacart, it's cheaper than actually going into the store. I don't know why. Because when I go to Walmart, I only get like seven things and it's like $130, but I can order it through Instacart and it'll be like half the price. But anywho, I got these jackfruit nuggets. I cannot wait to try them. They look so good. Um, so I don't know how much they were, but they I'm going to try these out. They're supposed to be, they're gluten-free, they're um, no GMO, they're a good source of fiber, and I love jackfruit. It says you can put them in the microwave. I don't use the microwave. This microwave is built in. We did not buy that. We hardly ever use it. We use the oven more than anything else, so. But yeah, we got these jackfruit nuggets. I got some, I got me a red bell pepper. I'm gonna be filming a mahi chowder um, with you guys in a couple days after. I'm doing another video after this, and then after that one, I'm doing the chowder. And I hope you guys like it, because it'll be my first time making it, so if I don't do a good job, <laughs> don't copy it. But yeah, I just got one red pepper. You guys know what that is. But I just love getting my vegetables from there. They are so fresh. They are so good. Um, I don't have to worry about like extra antibiotics and all of that inside of our food. I got a red pepper. I got a yellow one. Matter of fact, let me take them out of the plastic. I take my vegetables out of the plastic like as soon as I get them home. And I take them out of the plastic. I feel like it suffocates the vegetables. But yeah, if you're looking for, instead of like going into like regular grocery stores or Whole Foods is a little bit more expensive than um, Sprouts, but if you guys like fresh vegetables and really, really good quality fresh food, Sprouts is your place. The one here in Vegas is absolutely amazing. So I got a bag of lemons. I'll let you guys know what I do with my lemons. I will be showing what, it will probably be in my morning routine where you guys see the I take two spoons of sea moss and I make a lemon, ginger, key lime tea in the morning, but it'll be in another video. So I got some lemons. Okay. And I found this tea that they have on there. It's an elderberry. It's supposed to be good for stress, good for the immune system. It has ashwagandha in it. Um, I already take ashwagandha as a capsule, but I thought this tea was good. It was only $4.99, so I was like, why not? Next, I got this turmeric ginger juice. It's supposed to be really good for you. Um, me and my husband have probably split it, but it has so much stuff in it. It has ginger root, turmeric, orange peel, lemongrass, um, lemon cinnamon chips, um, cardamom pods, coriander seeds, maize cloves, and Madagascar vanilla. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really good drink. I've never tried it before, but and I got some organic uh, is this a sweet corn yeah this is the organic sweet corn with no salt I got this for the chowder that I'm going to be making next I got these organic fusilli noodles this is what I was going to use to make a chicken alfredo or not a chicken alfredo a seafood alfredo but I got these noodles, they're organic, they're gluten-free, they're supposed to be really good. I like the reviews on them. There's also reviews that you can look and see how people felt about one item or whatever. But I got these, and actually these are only $1.97. They're gluten-free and organic, so that's good. Next, I got these whole wheat buns. I've been looking for these. These are the 100% whole wheat gluten-free hamburger buns. I got these for, um, you know, sandwiches, burgers. I'm not big on like the loaf bread. I, I will do it, but I, I don't know, I like sourdough bread, but if I do get the loaf, it's still gonna be wheat. But I found these, I thought these were good. Next, we have, excuse me, it's everywhere. So next I got the organic Simply Orange shoes. This is my favorite. I take this in the morning with iron. It, helps um, break down the iron. 
before you go outside so you can get your um your full dosage and it basically helps observe it better so take iron whatever actually take whatever vitamin drink some orange juice then go outside next i got another one it's actually the same brand it's the simply lemonade um this one is with strawberry so i got the strawberry one we actually had this before it's so good if you haven't tried this try it it's so good with spring water ice What's next? I didn't get like a huge, huge haul. I already did like a little bit of minor shopping. So next I got, what is this? Oh, I got parsley so I can make um, my salad. I usually make a cucumber, tomato, parsley salad with vinegar and key limes and lemon. And it's so good. It's so healthy. It's so refreshing. It's good for like if you have, you can make it for parties, people will appreciate it. People think that bringing a salad, I don't know if it, me personally, if somebody brings a really good salad to like one of my cookouts or something like that, I'm all for it. Like bring the healthy stuff too. Most people are like, I'm gonna make baked macaroni and cheese. But yeah, this is parsley. Next I have my greens. You guys already see my baked turkey legs that I got. So I got these organic greens. Oh my gosh, look at the leaves on this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. So I'm gonna put these in my sink because I'm gonna wash them and add them to the pot. Great. Next, I got some celery. Look at how vibrant all of their stuff is. It's so vibrant. It's just, you get the full color. They even have watermelons with the seeds. When's the last time? Does anybody realize that the seeds in the watermelon are now gone? It's like they don't want us to make our own or grow our own fruit and vegetables anymore. That's why I like going to like Whole Foods or like Sprouts, somewhere where you can actually get the seeds. You can take them and regrow things yourself. So, But look how vibrant that is. It's like nothing wrong with it and, and it looks perfect. I usually don't like vegetables that are perfect. If the bugs don't like it, then you don't eat it either. But yeah, so I got some celery. This is for the chowder. And I wanted to make some celery juice too, so. Next, I got some cut corn for the chowder too. You're supposed to use um, sweet corn and cut corn. I'm getting the recipe for my chowder. For, I don't know if you guys watch the channel, but it's called Land Sharks Outdoors. I watch a bunch of fishing videos. I'm such a weirdo. I watch, actually I watch a lot of videos. I'm all for women empowerment, so I always watch all my girls' videos, like it, comment, and do all that, and then I'll go watch like Dare Meat for Dinner, Land Shark. I love them. I've been watching Dare Meat for Dinner for years, actually. I love Dare Meat for Dinner. So yeah, I got that and I got another thing of, yeah. Oh, actually, no. This is the Tuscan Kel. Look how beautiful this Kel is. This is how your Kel should look. It's supposed to have all of, look how beautiful that is. So this one I will leave in the bag because I don't want it just sitting like this in my refrigerator. So yeah, got that. Next, next, like this is the halibut. I got the Alaskan halibut. It's one big halibut that I'm gonna actually thaw out. I'll cut it into little cubes. The reason you use halibut for this chowder is because halibut is like a steak. It's like a steak fish. So if when you cut it up, it's not gonna disappear inside of your soup. It's actually gonna um, stay in chunk form and you can taste it in every bite. It's gonna be so good. Make sure you guys look out for my chowder video. Okay. Next is my favorite. So I've been addicted to these. I love these. If you guys have not tried this, oh my gosh. Like literally, I don't ever have to have a beef um, hamburger anymore. I'm not vegan. I do um, eat meat and stuff like that. I mainly like seafood. I've been kind of falling back on eating a lot of meat. I don't know. My body just hasn't been wanting it. But um, yeah, I tried these for the first time. I fell in love. You get, it's $4, you get two of them. They're plant-based, they are so meaty, there's no soy, it's gluten-free. It is so good. If you guys haven't tried this, please try them. 
Do not pass it up. It's super cheap. It's actually cheaper than regular hamburger meat. Everybody says like going vegan and stuff is expensive. It's actually not. And if you do it the right way and you shop at the right places, even if you have to go to like three or four stores, it's still going to be so good. But yeah, my husband made these. He actually put some, um, he put some mushrooms on it. Um, I think it was mushroom and onion, but we made them on a George Foreman grill. They came out so good. I'm in love. And you can use them in the morning for like, you can, instead of like a sausage patty, you can put these. They're actually really big and meaty. So it'll kind of make you full, but if you want, you can have this with avocado and a egg whites, whatever. But these are so good, try it. Next, I got my limes. Oh no, these are, no, these are not the limes. These are the avocados. I like to get my avocados hard because if I'm not ready to eat it, I don't want it to go bad like the next day. And I don't like the containers that save the, the other half of the avocado because it ends up being moldy anyways, unless it's like a glass container because fruits and vegetables have to breathe just like us. They're pretty much growing living items. So I got three of them. So I finally got my hands on some colorful carrots. I will be using this for the chowder. I don't know if I'm gonna use it all because um, I don't need all of it. It's just probably gonna be us eating. But um, yeah, I finally got my hands on some of the colorful carrots. Now these are organic, these are real. I don't even know if the, I guess there's orange carrots, but I know that for sure that there is white and purple carrots for sure. But I'm going to use this for the chowder. I'll probably only use half of them because I want to try the rest of them in a salad. Okay. Next, I got key limes. Key limes, actually, yeah, these are Persian key limes. These are organic. I love it. I love the little ones. They carry more juice. They're more organic. They're more potent. They're more citrusy. They're more better for you. Um, regular limes are good too, but I just prefer to use these ones. Use whatever you want, but I prefer the little ones. I think they're really, really good. Um, I get more flavor out of them, especially when I cut them in half and boil them in the morning with ginger and lemon. It's just so good. So, um. so since I don't like potatoes, uh, let me say it better. I like potatoes. My husband loves potatoes. Him and his dad like can wake up every morning and make potatoes. I'm just like not a potato person like that. They're actually really starchy and my body doesn't take well the sugar and starch turns into sugar. So yeah. So I got the little ones for the chowder because you will need potatoes in chowder. So I got the little ones. I'll probably just cut these in halves or in fours and put them in the soup. I can't wait to show you guys this chowder soup. It's going to be so good. Once I seen this recipe, I was like, I have to do it. I have to try it. Period. Period poo. Okay, last but not least, I cannot drink cow's milk. It makes my throat itch. Um, it makes my body itch. Um, so I only drink original unsweetened almond milk. And I love this milk. It is so good. It lasts longer than regular milk. It doesn't, it, it doesn't have a nasty flavor. It doesn't I think the aftertaste kind of tastes like almond a little bit, but if you're not a cow milk drinker or you can't drink cow milk like I can't, then this one is really, really good. Um, oat milk is good too. I actually prefer oat milk, but I like, I like them both the same, but I got this and I love it. The expiration, what? This milk is good till New Year's next year. So if I were to get cow milk, it would be all clumpy and stuff in my refrigerator by next year. So. And it's a, it's a game changer and a money saver because you don't have to keep buying milk unless you go through it a lot. I don't eat cereal and stuff like that. The kids usually do. So I'll get cow milk for them. Cause, uh, well, actually they do like this one. Once I started drinking it, they're like, you're not leaving us behind. So they started drinking it too. But yeah, it's so good. And thumbs up to the girls that do drink it. So last but not least, this video is getting kind of long I didn't want it to be too long I still have another video to film I haven't I'm gonna try I can't promise that I'm trying to film at least once a day or every other day 
so I at least want to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And if I could, then I'll do maybe two days out of the week on the weekends. So for the chatter, I got half and half. I don't, I don't know. Because I don't drink milk, but I don't know if it'll hurt. I'm just going to use, a, it's, they said I only need uh, like a half a cup of this. And then the rest is supposed to be regular milk. Oops, excuse me. So I'll probably just use a little bit of this and mainly more of the almond milk. Then I got beef broth. This is organic beef broth. I love it. Like, if I don't feel like eating, I will just warm up some beef broth to drink, sip it like soup. I love soup. I love broth. So, this is one of my favorites. But I'm going to add a little bit in with the um, collard grains instead of using... Well, I already added a little bit of spring water. I only cook with spring water, but I'm going to add this too. So, But yeah, that's pretty much it for the haul. If you guys like this video, please... Please, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Share this video with any and everybody. Um, because we about to be lit over here. Okay. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, love, peace, and hair groups. Just kidding. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.